Hello guys, in this video I want to show you another enemy I have in this game and this one will be a good example on how you can turn even simple asset, very simple asset, into a somewhat interesting enemy with special mechanics. Uh, whatever you see during this video was made in my RPG tutorial, you can find all of the links below and this video is just simply a presentation of the slime's ability to fight the player. Uh, my name is Alex, subscribe if you haven't and let's begin. And I want to begin by showing you the assets I had for this enemy. Super simple um, sprite sheet for the slime, just uh, you can see here like one idle animation, move animation, one attack animation and a death animation and that's it. And they're so similar uh, like at first that I had to try different animations to understand what they do. But still I found a way to make it interesting. First of all I want to show you how he reacts to counter attack we have in the game. So when he attacks there is a red uh, circle and somebody suggested to use exclamation mark above his head instead of a circle and I think it's a brilliant idea maybe we should do it sometime. Yeah let me know in the comments if you want to have a tutorial on how to make exclamation mark above his head. So when he attacks you can do counter attack and he falls like so and at that point he becomes untargetable. You cannot kick him, you cannot damage him with the spells, nothing you can do about it. So basically it means there is no point really of doing counter attack against this enemy. And this is one of the things that makes him special. So you have to fight him like face to face, uh, face some damage or you can use magic spells or you can throw your sword or whatever comes to your mind to fight against him. And another special ability of his is that he's a self-multiplying enemy. So if you kill it, there are two smaller slimes, they have different stats and they kind of give more purpose to uh, skills I have in the game because I have an entire skill tree and uh, some of the skills kind of made for targeting multiple enemies and for example this bouncy sword will bounce between targets and it makes it really satisfying to use against these kind of enemies. Right, so he's self-multiplying again if you kill some more. Now there are lots of them and they have high damage and you can see they're pretty oh, strong if you don't do anything about it but they're also sometimes stupid and they fall. Well, it's because they're in a battle mode. When they're in a battle mode, they will follow player no matter what. This enemy was inspired by basically any RPG in the world. You know, it's a pretty common enemy, I believe. Just a slime that is self-multiplying slime, very cool. And I honestly made this enemy because I wanted to try to make something like that, but I guess it turned out pretty well. And also I've got an idea just now how it could work, how it could have one more special attack. I'll not make it uh, in this video, I'll just show you the idea. Maybe you want to do it, you can do it later. So what I think is that this slime could fold sometimes, like, um, where is it? It could fold sometimes like so, then it could slide under the player and then it could fold back, kind of damaging him and uh, trapping him into or something like this. I think it could be fun. It would be fun to make and it would be fun to play. Yeah, that's just another idea how it could work. But anyway, I'm happy how it is uh, right now. I think it's pretty interesting, somewhat troubling for the player to kill and he can get your HP and if there is a couple of them, imagine if you kill two big slimes and there are like 16 small slimes on the level and you need to kill them all, should be fun to play. That's all what I wanted to share in this video. Uh, thank you to my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you to Friendly Robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy and Dimitro. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this slime. Could it work differently? And remember, we don't play games, we make them.